What is up? My name is Sebastian Ottaviani. You can call me Seb, that's what my friends call me. I'm here with my partner in crime today, Eve Ottaviani. Say what's up, Evie. Evie, look. Look at the camera, look right here. Look, look. Okay, well, she's not gonna look at you. But, uh, I'm starting to vlog. We're starting to vlog. Um, it's 2020. It's been a rough start. We've had some, we had some crazy uh, experiences this year. The death of Kobe, rest in peace. In 2020, with the coronavirus going on, we are starting some new trends. Fuck, I don't have a stand for this. So I apologize, I don't have a stand for the camera. Hang on, let me figure this out. I'm trying not to look at myself in the, in the viewfinder. Anyways, I'm, I just turned 20. On March 31st, yes. Yes, I'm getting old now, I'm a boomer. No, not yet. Um, but as I turn 20, I start to reflect on some things that I could start changing as we go into the next decade, you know what I mean? And and um, I haven't been on the most healthiest lifestyle that you could possibly have. So today, I've brought you to I've brought you to the home of, what's his face? The home of Franklin Delano Roosevelt. And I've been coming here for a whole week now running about a good two miles. And I decided to bring you on my journey today. And that's where we're gonna go. So with Eve, Evie, you can't really see her, she's too black. All right, anyways, let's get it. So one of the main reasons I like coming here is because usually there's no people around. And, uh, wow, this lady's shit. There's no people around and it's pretty quiet and I can let the dog off the leash. But today it's a little fucking rainy. So that is where I like to run. It's quiet there, not there's not a lot of people, and it's just kind of, it's kind of a motivating place. Also, this is where Franklin Delano Roosevelt lived, so 
that one road I was running on is where Franklin Delano Roosevelt used to walk up and down in the morning to kind of combat his polio that he had, which which is pretty serious. So I think I think about that every time I run down that road and it just gives me a little bit more extra motivation. Anyways, I'd like to talk about why I started the, this channel. I started this channel because I would like to make a change in my life. Coronavirus has really made me reflect on who I am and what I'd like to be. And so three things that I've noted that I find really important to me are time, what I put my attention to, like my, what do I focus on? And number three, my health. So number one time, I haven't really been, I've been really wasting my time. I've been wasting my time on video games. I've been wasting my time sitting around looking on my phone, scrolling through social media. And when you spend your time doing those kinds of things, just consuming, 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 it, first of all, it's just not healthy. It's just not, it's just not healthy. Like when you're scrolling through Instagram and you see somebody who's, who's always looking happy or promoting something, it's just sometimes it's, it's not really good for you and it kind of makes you feel bad about yourself. Now, I don't let that stuff usually get to me, but sometimes it does. Sometimes sometimes I feel down about myself because I've been seeing other people feeling, oh, so I'm here, I'm there. But, but like, that's why I want to stop consuming so much. I'm going to limit myself to how much social media, how much video games I consume in a day. Next, I'd like to change on what I put my, what I focus on. I've been really focusing on my schoolwork lately. I've been very unmotivated with online classes. It's just so hard to to navigate through this new kind of pathway. But like you gotta, th you gotta think about how everybody's going through the same thing. Everybody's going through the coronavirus. Everybody's having these scares and everybody's going who's in college is going through the online classes. So you just gotta realize that you're in this together with other people and you just gotta stay focused. You gotta get that work done. You gotta set a chunk of time out of your day to do that work. Now I know that's so cliche and everybody says that, but like it's hard. Like when you're a student, it's hard. And so I want you to do it with me and set a chunk of time during the day to just focus on your schoolwork. And then third of all, your health. So lately, I have not been focusing on health at all. I haven't been working out at all. As, as the, when the gyms closed, I was just sitting at home doing absolutely nothing, eating junk, eating crap not running I usually I'm usually playing a sport but now you can't play sports with other people because you gotta have social distancing which I understand which is completely right and, I, and that's why I've been following it so that's why I've been coming here I, I've been coming here for the past week and I make myself run two miles that was four this is two two miles um and I've been feeling good I feel when you're done running like the hardest part obviously is getting here getting your butt out especially on a day like like today like it's gray. It's so gray out. It was just raining. That's why I had to come back in here and film this. I was going to film out in the field, but it was raining, so I stopped. But you just got to get out there. And once you get out there, once you get out of your bed, you just got to discipline your mind to get out. You got to say, I'm going to do this. It's for the better. It's for my health. It's, 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 to, it's to discipline your mind. That's what this really is for, is to discipline your mind. And then once you discipline your mind, coming out here and running is easy. Like literally do two weeks of, you could run a mile. You don't have, you don't even have to, you could run a half a mile every day, run a half a mile every day for two weeks and you will see great difference and drink and also take on a habit. So what I want you to do after this video is take on one habit, any habit that you want, whether it be consume less meat in a day, scroll less on your phone every day or eat healthy, eat, eat, uh, eat a salad every day. It doesn't, but my my thing is I'm, I'm drinking a gallon of water, a gallon of water every day. And that's, I'm trying to limit myself to just water instead of like soda, orange juice, juices. I just want to drink water. And, and I've been doing this for a week and also I'm feeling a lot better. But, um, but yeah, so join me. Let's, let's do this together. Let's get through Corona. I know Corona's, I know Corona's been a terrible time and it seems so, dreary and gloomy but like take this as an advantage take this time this downtime where you're stuck at home to focus on yourself focus on yourself forget about everybody else 
Everybody else does not matter right now. Right now, you have to social distance. You can't, you can't go see your friends. But everybody's going through the same thing. But, but the difference between you and other people is that other people are just looking at this and not taking advantage of it. You got to take advantage of this situation. You got to get out there, change yourself, get healthier, spend your time better, focus on important things. And guys, boom. We're going to, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just excited. I'm excited. Um, I'm going to stop blabbering. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you.